Hey guys, so uh, apparently the French elections are now being influenced by Russia. Now, this is according to CNN and some French officials that they had, uh, you know, reported on or talked to. And, you know, already this, this narrative is brewing in, in France just in case Le Pen wins. Now, the polls aren't really looking in her favor and it's by like, you know, a lot. Where it's not exactly the same with Trump, where it's kind of dealing with a couple percentage points, but you you can see now they're they're just covering their bases just in case you know they're they're freaked out about that last what happened in America, you know they don't want the same thing happening now, and they're already getting ready f with a narrative just in case, right? Whereas, you know, there's still absolutely no proof that Russia interfered with the democratic elections there's still an investigation ongoing but you know they have been investigating trump's ties and this and that with russia for a long time now and nothing has turned up so you know are these institutions the fbi like really that incompetent they still can't find anything you know like we should get 4chan to look through it they'll probably find it really quickly they seem to find they, they seem to find everything extremely fast but you see this whole Russian narrative thing starting up again and you know Le Pen is you know she's being paid off by Russian banks and this and that and you know why do people continue to you know eat take the bait like I understand that they've created this fear of right-wing people and have started to label people that are for common sense policies like uh, border control far right you know this is this is the way the way our culture has been moving like if, if you're for moderate stances you're now a bigot you're now uh, a crazy person if you want good relations with a nuclear power that a massive nuclear power that has a capability to wipe you guys out as well you know especially France they could easily wipe France out if it was a conflict between those two nations if you want good relations with with a nation like that now you're all of a sudden uh, a, a Russian spy <laughs> you know like these these are common sense things that people should be wanting and you know we've become such a partisan countries like all of our countries become very partisan very separated very left right wing you know they're people are being moved away from the center and being pushed to the extremes and now just when people want to have moderate conversations about things they get you know called racist and labeled whatever whatever the fuck the new word is nowadays you know alt right far right whatever you know and this is this is just a way to you know stop discussion and stop people from having interaction and you know resolving their differences and coming together because the more we're divided the more governments have control over us. This is divide and conquer strategy. The more we're fighting amongst ourselves, the more they push these social issues that don't really matter, like gender bathrooms and these types of things. We're not going to be paying attention to uh, foreign issues or uh, you know foreign policy. We're not going to be looking at that. We're going to be paying attention to irrelevant social policies like gay marriage it's like okay yeah i'm for gay marriage whatever i'm not for forcing uh christians to marry gay people that's something different entirely but yeah if you want to get married underneath the state be my guest i don't i don't give two shits but while we're focusing on these things and pronouns and whatnot you know there's there's a lot of shit going on you know with our foreign policy and a lot of people are dying and a lot of a lot of things we're creating they're creating now problems within our countries which are now creating domestic policies problems so you know if we really care about people if you really want to help people people should be starting to pay more attention to what's going on in the wider world and what our militaries are doing in these countries because if, if we keep focusing on irrelevant shit you know things are just going to get worse for us and the uh, refugee crisis is just getting it worse and you know we don't necessarily want to bring tons of those people over here 
and you know those i'm sure a lot of those people want to stay in their homes and you know they want to stay, they don't want their countries to be ravaged apart and ripped apart like libya and iraq and these countries like they want they i'm sure a lot of those people want their own homes so instead of trying to divide us which the media is trying to do with other nations with you know russia isn't a they're not great putin is a great guy he's an ex kgb guy you know he's killed a lot of people unjustly and he's not a good person but sometimes you need to work with bad people in order to do more good like he is fighting isis he is killing assad is fighting isis they are killing isis now to fight these people when there are isis members coming into every country indiscriminately killing people at random doesn't make any sense you know how many russians have killed american soldiers recently or french soldiers or canadian soldiers very few or, or none right none so why why are we making them the enemy it makes no sense and even if they're uh releasing information let's just say they were hacking some of our officials and releasing information about them that like is compromising if anything we should we should know a lot of this stuff like a lot of them are screwing us and are taking advantage of us behind our backs and we're mad that they're exposing our politicians for being corrupt you know <laughs> we should be happy about that that's thank you russia if you are doing that which i still don't think you are because there's no proof and it could be multiple hackers for many different reasons for many different mo motivations that would want to get into your uh you know computer systems and look through your information to sell it because that's you can make a lot of money selling political uh you know officials documents on the black market you can make you can make good change so you know we need to start working with these nations to eradicate you know jihadism <laughs> and like you know these radical muslims first instead of making them our enemy and we need to stop listening to the media and taking everything they're saying at, at face value and just assuming that they have our best interest in mind because they don't they don't have our best interest in mind so you always need to remember they don't give a shit about you but you know this is this whole russia thing is just a scapegoat you know if she wins get ready to, to hear this on mass and a lot of what they're trying to do with this russia this whole russia thing is also trying to create a conflict with them like them saying you know trump is a russian spy for this and that for sure likely had some impact on his decisions to uh bomb syria and you know if you think that something you know i think le pen might be a little bit more rational in some aspects you know the same could happen with her you know you keep calling her a russian spy a russian this yes she's now going to make your relations between those countries worse because of that and now you know isis will just grow and kill more people kill more innocent people and it would be your fault you know it'll be all your fault for doing it so you know that's pretty much all i really had to say if you like my content subscribe and have a great day